All right, so in order to make a new copy of the AVDs and stuff, we have to actually make it so we can write the code for that and be able to run the application. So we go up to Window, and we go down to our AVD Manager. And as you guys can see, I have a few AVDs that I've installed. And I'm actually going to remove this one because it's named so poorly, AND3. Um, I try and actually name them the name of the uh, device itself so it makes sense. So I have Android 3, it should be at Android 2.3, so I'm going to go ahead and I'll edit this. And instead of AND3, we'll call this Android 2.3. And if you notice, I can't do spaces, um, invalid characters. It's really nice, it just automatically disables the create feature and gives you a lovely warning. Happy times there. So Android 2.3, that way I know exactly what it is. So Android AVD 3 will be duplicated in that, create AVD. And I hit create. I said I hit create. Ah, yes, the magic spinning wheel. Okay. And now I can go ahead and I'll delete this one. Bye bye, Android 3. Yep. Bye bye. Okay. So. I didn't, but we're, when, when normally we do, I actually do choose options. That's why I just wanted to get rid of that one really fast. So to make a new one, we go up here and new. And so I'm, I actually choose my target first, uh, just because it's me. And so I'm going to make this for Android 403. And so this will be Android 403 as the name. So again, so the name says exactly what it is. And then my SD card. I need to make sure I have RAM in here. Must be at least 9 uh, megabytes. That's great. 9 megs is ridiculously tiny. Instead of that, let's do gig. And let's say it's going to be a, a 4 gig drive. 5 gig drive. Makes more sense, right? To have a, a 4 gig or a 5 gig you know, SD card than a 9 meg SD card? I, I mean, I could be mistaken. Okay. And a snapshot. This is if you want to be able to take snapshots of that. Um, have that available for you. Uh, Built-in resolution or skin on that. What do you want it to look like? This is how you can change how, how you want the actual environment of your emulator to look. And so you can have it be whichever size of that this is an 800, this is a large screen emulator, so it's an, this is the tablet size. But you can also do it, make it ridiculously tiny or otherwise. And what resolution do you want to have by default? And then you have your settings right here for specific hardware settings you would like, like to do. On that, I just leave it the same, but you can make specific components on that if you'd like. So again, just by going to New, adding that property, you choose the property as to what's on there. It has a Boolean. Uh, it has an accelerometer and tells you what it is like that. And so you can just put those various features inside that emulator right here. So you can specify your emulator as much as you want. And so you can have a whole bunch of them. But we're not going to worry about that right now. And so we're just using the default settings like that. We'll create the AVD. So it's a 5 gig AVD, so it's bigger than what it has to be. And I'm going to go ahead and hit create. Takes a couple seconds to go through. There we go. Click again. Didn't want to take the ABI processor. There we are. And it took a couple seconds, but it's done. I don't see it. So my Android 403, and I'll go over that here with you really fast. Let me just stop this recording.